The lakes region here in New Hampshire is synonymous with summer. Obviously, that is not the case today as we are here in the middle of winter and are going to experience what it's like during the colder months. We visit a town called Meredith today, which is a quintessential New Hampshire lake town situated along the shoreline of Lake Winnipesaukee. What better way to see the area than up in the sky? You can't help but notice the stunning homes where so many come to get away from it all. When our heads and feet come down from the clouds, we head into town and pop into a few stores and grab a bite to eat in a renovated 1850s barn. And just to prove that this area is so much fun in the winter, we're gonna end the night at Gunstock Resort with some tubing, but off we go for now, up, up and away. So I'm back with my friends, Kara and Corey from Legacy Home Group. You may recognize them from season one. And also Jeremy Martin from Lakes Region Design Group. Jeremy, you've arranged for us to have a helicopter ride over the Lakes Region. Absolutely. So today you're going to leave from Guilford. We're going to head over uh, Meredith Village, check out Meredith Village, and then head over to uh, Meredith Neck, look at a few properties nice. that we built. And then uh, we'll head along VZ Shore property line to look at some of the nice, beautiful houses that are there. And then we're going to head over to Guilford and look at the new project that's there and uh, end at uh, I love this. Gunstock. A really nice loop. Yes. It'll be fun. And I think it's one way to like drive around and see the town, but up in the air. Well, we took you by boat last you season. You did. Let's go by helicopter this season. All right, up, up, and away. Let's go. Let's do it. Charlie Echo for 26. My God. So crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your first helicopter ride ever? I've been in a heli before, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. Oh my. It is such a different perspective from up in the air. It's a totally different world up here. Yeah, you just, it's that bird's eye view. I mean, it, I mean, I love the layers of the mountain. Oh yeah, I know. You don't, you don't really get to see that they just keep going and going. Right. Uh, on my side, you should be able to see the top of Mount Washington. Oh my gosh. That's way out yep, there. Yeah, way out from Kara, when we were here in the summer, this is where you were surfing, right to yes. the right. Okay, that's what I thought. There's the Governor's Island Bridge, and that's the little bay we were in. Oh, nice. It is really just so gorgeous in all four seasons. It really is. I mean, the Lakes region has so much to offer year-round, and as the ice starts forming, we're going to have fob houses out here and snowmobilers, and it's super exciting year-round, and definitely, uh, keeps everybody outdoors, which is amazing. And so, so much to offer. This is um, Spindle Point on your right. So these are all the beautiful waterfront homes. So pretty much all these houses right here have all been built by Jeremy's company. That's the house that we're gonna look at later today. Oh, nice. That Jeremy's gonna tour us through. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at that one. So that's Gunstock straight ahead. Oh! You can see the ski trail. Yep, yep, I see it. So that that little piece of land straight ahead is going to become some beautiful timber frame homes in this whole hillside over here. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? And, and then you'll be able to see the lake to oh your... Oh, my God. The, the views from there are unbelievable. Uh, my company is Lakes Region Design Group. We build here in Meredith, New Hampshire. Uh, I've been doing it 17 years. We build from uh, small detailed homes to these large mansions that you see that are on the waterfront. This house uh, was built in 2008. Uh, we built it as a spec, uh, my business partner and myself. And then the economy you know, tanked and we turned it into a rental. Uh, we did very well with the rental. We uh, basically had people in here all summer. It was 14 weeks a year. 
and that helped cover the expenses on the property and introduce a lot of new people to the area that would have never known about the lake. So as you know, we just flew over this and so now we get to be inside and really look at this majestic house. It's insane. You said it just sold. It did, it just sold for $8.5 million. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's one of the most expensive houses in Merida. Yeah, so we'd love to give you a tour. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna take a nice walk around. So it's on about 12 acres. There's about 200 feet of Wittipasaki waterfront, which is really spectacular. Um, it's very private. We're sitting back from the lake. Um, it's a beautiful open concept. But it's cozy. Like yeah. it's interesting because it does have this open concept, but it is still very warm and cozy. Ten thousand square feet, and you still feel <laughs> yeah. like you want a cozy it's up next to the fireplace. It's just a tiny little cozy cabin. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> no big deal. All right, let's take a look around. I want to check it out. Great. Perfect. Let's go. All right, so we're in the basement and we've got foosball and a golf simulator. Absolutely. And shuffleboard and a treadmill. <laughs> um, so this house is just layers of cozy and fun. Absolutely, when we design these, we you know we want to bring in people so that on the weekends they can enjoy it if it's raining out. So yeah. we bring in all the different toys so they can enjoy it. Yes, yeah, so this is the kind of house that we love to see. And you know, families can really come together. There's nine bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. You can bring your whole family, friends, um, enjoy the lake, but also on a day, you know, maybe it's raining or not so great outside. I mean, look what you can do down here. It's Tons incredible. of space. Yeah. We work with a lot of clients that come up and buy a second home and they decide, you know what, we're going to offset some of our costs and yeah. rent it out. Mm -hmm. So uh, homes like this are available I to rent. That. So yeah. they're online, check them out. Um, but then there's also, you know, Jeremy and uh, Legacy Home Group are working on a project right now. This is 8.5. We're working on a big project that is going to start at 800,000. So it yeah. doesn't have to be 10,000 square feet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So Everything you're going to get that between. you're going to get that same quality that Jeremy put into this house into just a smaller version. Well, I can't wait to see those. But right now I kind of want to play um, shuffleboard. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, All let's right, do it. Let's, let's do, it. do some shuffleboard. <laughs> As remote as this is and away from everything, it's also only two miles down the road from Main Street and that is where we're headed. Hennifer supports women in a lot of different ways. The grocery business is just really dynamic. I mean, I've been fortunate over the years to have really strong female mentors and role models. And so I feel a lot of responsibility to continue to do the same thing for new uh, female leaders. Uh, the magic of Hannaford is really our legacy of having just really great people who are all committed to delivering on the best customer experience together. I really believe it's the longevity of that culture that's made us so successful. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive And I raise my hand to the sky What a feeling Time to feel it This is where it all begins whoa, 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 whoa. This is where it all begins I'm Kayla Copeland and I'm the owner of Lake Effect here on Main Street in Meredith. We offer home goods, gifts, customized options, and apparel for women. My husband and I moved to Meredith full-time in 2015 and I realized that my shopping options were somewhat limited. So I decided to open up my own shop. So in 2016, Lake Effect opened actually at 23 Main Street. And then in 2018, we expanded and moved to our current location at 51 Main Street.
We're really fortunate here in Meredith because we're su in such close proximity to a lot of the local ski areas and we have the lake. What people don't realize is the lake freezes and once the lake freezes, it becomes a four seasons board. So people go snowmobiling. We have a huge pond hockey tournament here. So oftentimes people will come up to see a lot of the local events in the area. Gunstock is 18 minutes from here. Our offering changes throughout the year. So in the summer, when customers are here looking for casual, comfortable clothing, our SPF line, all of our clothing that's offered is SPF 50 or greater. So we offer that all summer from skorts to t-shirts to tops so that they can be protected um, by the sun while they're enjoying the lake. In the fall and winter, we offer warm, cozy sweaters. We also offer a lot of customized gifts. Fortunately, a lot of our customers um, in the winter are local realtors who are looking for closing gifts. So we do a lot of customized items for them. And we're fortunate that if you order an item by Tuesday, chances are we can have it for you by Saturday. We offer um, cheese boards, cutting boards, trays, glassware, coasters, signs. Anything that you'd like to put your name on, your lake house name, your friend's name, we'll help you with that. Uh, I love living in Meredith. I moved here in 2015 to have a simpler life and I wanted to embrace a community. So when I decided to open up my shop, I looked for an area right on Main Street. And what I'm fortunate about is that a lot of my customers are now some of my dearest friends. I'm the only person that works here, so when you come in, I'm gonna greet you. So, if you're in the area, please come to Meredith, and more importantly, please come to Lake Effect. You can also follow us online on Instagram and Facebook, and we also do have a website. Wow, a helicopter ride followed by shopping. That was quite a morning, and I'm really starving now, so let's go grab a bite to eat down the road. Hi, I'm Chris Massiello, and I'm CEO and President of Better Homes and Gardens, the Massiello Group. So we work with our clients at all different price points and all different housing needs. So whether it's the first time couple uh, or whether it's somebody that's looking to downsize from a larger house, uh, we work with you know, all different types of needs. And we understand what those needs are because as people are going through different stages in their lives, uh, their needs change. And you know, that's part of the, the focus we have on providing our agents with the tools and the resources so that they can spend more time with their clients and really kind of helping them, you know, really, really kind of unpack what their needs are. So we're here to help you with your housing needs. Please give us a call. We're here to service you and you can find us on our website. Thank you so much. Hi guys. I am here to meet up with Ted from Berlin City Auto Group. He is one of the delivery drivers here. We're gonna deliver a Jeep Wagoneer 2022 to a very lucky customer, and I'm going along for the ride. Ted, it's great to drive along with you today. It's the good. Wagoneer is is like a hot item these days. Yes. So yes. I'm excited about it. It must be like relaxing, kind of getting to drive around the state. Oh yes, and... yes. You know, I've seen so much of the co country that I never would see without this job. Bozeman, Montana is one of my <gasps> Uh, yeah. I've uh, always wanted to go there. Oh, it's beautiful out there. Yeah. Wow. That is service. <laughs> that, yes. We've been doing this for 40 years. Yeah. I just enjoy this job so much. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Not everybody realizes that the people that are delivering the car are real people that have real stories. Right. And, um, and like you, really love what you do. Yes. At Kenny Bunk Savings, commitment to our communities is at the heart of why we do what we do. Businesses, individuals, organizations, we all depend on each other. When we help our neighbors buy a home, open a business, or save for their some days, we're able to pledge 10% of our earnings to nonprofits who share our belief in supporting our communities. Because when our communities thrive, we all thrive, and that is our purpose. So how can we help you? Kenny Bunk Savings, purpose-driven. 
Welcome to Mom's Jericho. My name is Junior, General Manager of Mom's Jericho. Here at Mom's, we basically tell everybody your adventure begins at Mom's. Uh, we're located right on the trail system at both locations. Uh, we do rent snowmobiles. We do also offer side-by-side -side rentals in the spring and summer seasons. Pretty much you name it, the power sports industry, Mom's carries it. So we've got a selection for just about anybody. So for all your power sports needs, come check us out at Mom's. We've got three locations here in New Hampshire, and the rest of us is spread out throughout New England. So come check us out. Hi, my name's uh, Dave Piccarillo. And my name's Bruce Walton, and we're co-owners of Twin Barns Brewing in Meredith, New Hampshire. We're a 10-barrel brew house where we've been brewing uh, between 8 and 12 beers every day for the community in the Lakes region. We have a, uh, a full restaurant as well, so we serve everything from burgers to sandwiches to soups, salads, flatbread pizzas, and we also provide uh, music on Fridays and Saturdays, so we think our, of ourselves as a very kind of rich um, local music venue as well. It's actually two, two barns that are located here. They were both built in the late 1850s and they were moved here in the 1930s. It was a chicken barn for about 50 years through the 1970s. It got turned into an antique store called Burlward Antiques sometime between the 1970s and 2000s. It was the American Motorcycle Museum for several years after that. And then we took it over in July of 19 and we believe we're the first brewery ever to be occupy Meredith. We've spent a lot of time over the last few years developing uh, in a venue for the community. So it's not just an indoor tap room. We have outdoor space in the beer garden that allows people to relax out in almost an acre of land and enjoy the outside both in the summer and winter. So we're looking for any and all reasons to bring Meredith residents together. There's no strings attached. Just come, chill, have fun, see your friends, meet us at the same time. So uh, what we've done is on our deck, we've replaced our picnic tables with uh, two igloos that people can come in. It, they get nice and warm in the daytime. We can go in, relax, again, have a beer, get a little food. In addition, we've even taken our beer garden and we open it on the weekends in the wintertime. We've got some fire pits out there, some heaters. We've got eight taps. So it's one of those nice spots where you're dressed warm, come out and enjoy a nice cold beer on a nice cold day. We've never cease to be amazed at what kind of weather New Hampshire residents will drink in. So <laughs> from five degrees to 30 degree degrees, they're always here and having fun, so. My name is Randy Booth. I'm the head brewer here at Twin Barns Brewing Company. A uh, big goal here at Twin Barns is to brew beers that kind of fit our environment. So we really want to make this a place where you can come enjoy a few beers, hang out in the beer garden or in the igloos in the wintertime. And the whole goal is to make sure we have good fresh beer that kind of uh, you can drink and enjoy while you're eating the food and hanging out here. So typical brew day is about eight hours long. Um, you know, we start with barley, we crush it, we add it to hot water where we extract the sugar, and then we add hops, we boil it all. That's why beer is one of the great beverages because it's sanitary. Uh, that's why, you know, 200 years ago they would drink beer and not drink waters because beer wouldn't kill you, the water could. Uh, and that's why we boil it, we kill everything, but that's where we add the flavor, the hops, the malt. Uh, then we add yeast, and the yeast, depending on the yeast, will ferment out a beer in uh, two weeks, three weeks. Um, and then, yeah, beer's on tap until we need to brew a new batch of it. Uh, so we brew a lot of different things. One of our regular flagship beers is our Palmer Sound IPA. It's a 6% hazy IPA, very tropical, citrus forward. We also brew every year Hat Trick IPA. It's actually a triple IPA. It's 10.1% uh, and we brew that for the Pond Hockey Classic that happens in early February every year. So we're excited for that. Uh, we do have a beer called Twin Beans, which is a lot of fun. It's actually a blonde ale with coffee and vanilla in it. So that's been one of the beers that we've tried out a couple times. It's been really popular, so we'll brew that again here soon. One thing about my brewing style is I like to brew traditional beers, but sort of play in the margins a little bit. For example, we do a sour beer here in the fall. It's called All the Fixins, and it's a sour beer with cranberry and fresh rosemary in it. It's just something a little different. So we like to be very traditional, but also uh, add some spins to it to make it kind of fun and different, but also still make it taste like beer at the end of the day. Well, literally, we just kind of put them right in here. Okay. And then... Ooh, they're freezing! I know, they're cold. Why? Well... Uh, fresh beer. So our fresh beer, beer? Our beer is always cold. Okay, so well that's good. So then... Yep, put it right on there and then right you on. snap it on. There you go. Yeah! Take out some aggression. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. All right. Yeah, you're hired. Yeah. <laughs> we can do 100 more cases if you like. <laughs>
So if you're up in the Lakes region this winter, come on by Twin Barns Brewing Company for a great beer and some great food. Yeah, and we'd love to have you anytime, uh, not just winter, but summer as well. So right here on Route 3 in Meredith, love to see you. My husband is going to be so excited for all of this beer that I just got him. But actually, I'm even more excited because we're headed over to Gunstock Ski Resort and we're going tubing. Super excited. We work at the places that a lot of people come to vacation at. In the winter seasons, I can be out on skis on our trails because it's part of my job. I mean, how could you get better than that? My name's Howie Weems. I'm the general manager at the Mount Washington Auto Road and Great Glen Trail. I'm Sue Weems. Howie is my husband, and I'm the ski school director here at Great Glen Trails. At the Auto Road, we want to show people what Mount Washington is all about. We want to explain the social history and the fascinating weather and everything there is to do with the mountain. But we also can take the opportunity to educate people about how care needs to be taken so that the alpine environment is healthy here for centuries to come. New Hampshire has these spectacular mountains. The trail system, the natural beauty is just a fits me so well. We're lucky enough to do a fair amount of traveling and we're doing all of our outdoor activities when we go to these different places. And when we come home, we say it's so great to be back in New Hampshire because New Hampshire has all of that that we go away for. And it's all in a very compact area. If we had a mind to, we could be hiking in the morning, get in the car and enjoy the seacoast and maybe a concert down at Hampton Beach in the afternoon. That's it. There's so many different things to do and it's so easy to get there. Living free to me means being able to pursue what I love to do, being able to enjoy what enriches my life, and I can do that here in New Hampshire. Absolutely. Living up here comes into living free because if we're not working in it, we're playing in it. And so that's part of the freedom of being in New Hampshire. Uh, my name is Jen Carnan. I'm the marketing manager here at Gunstock, the Lakes Region's Four Season Playground. So Gunstock opened in 1937. It actually started out as a WPA project um, coming out of the Great Depression. So they created this mountain as a gift to the county and provided a place for people to work, basically. And so um, we're, we're one of the only county-owned entities in the country. And we stay up there with the others. We compete with the other mountains. We have um, a lot of high efficiency snowmaking. We have new software that they just added this year, which is really interesting. You can see the, the average uh, snow surface. And so as the season goes on, our snowmakers are able to see which areas of the mountain need touching up, which is super cool. So we have a huge network of cross country trails here. Our outdoor center is on the, the main road as you're coming into the mountain, you can stop by and they've got rental equipment, they've got snowshoes, um, they even do equipment for dogs, lessons for dogs. You can go skijoring, um, you bring any kind of dog, hook them up to an apparatus and you can ski with them, so that's really neat. Um, we've got lessons, we do snowshoe ridge tours out of the outdoor center as well, and it's a nice, uh, it's a nice change up, even if you're used to alpine skiing, it's nice to get over there and get into the woods, it's quieter and the workout is substantial as well. Yeah. So we have night skiing and riding here. We have the most lit terrain in New England, actually. So we have a lot of options at night. So you can come ride the penny lift, the tiger lift, the ramrod lift, the pistol lift, and you can access the summit for the first hour of night skiing and riding as well. So Gunstock is pretty centrally located to the Lakes region. It's about 20 minutes away from most of the surrounding towns. Um, kind of 30 to 40 minutes tops from the other side of the lake. But um, this is a great, a great area. And we have just unrivaled views of the lake. It's a great area to just come in. It's cozy inside. We got a fireplace. We've got great food options all over the mountain. We've got a food truck on the weekends. So you can pop in there so you don't have to come in and deal with the crowd. We have a free bag check here. So if you have a bunch of gear, you don't have to worry about schlepping everything around, leaving everything in the lodge vulnerable. You can just check it. It's safe. You don't have to think about it the rest of the day. 
We have one of the longest tubing hills in New England. We've had it since the 90s. Um, I was a kid when we first opened it and I remember getting out there initially with my friends when we, when we first opened the hill up and so it's still a blast. You get a group of people to go, ride the magic carpet up, you've got your tube with you, and then we situate you at the top and send you down. And you can go down as a group or individually. Zero degrees, maybe even less. And I'm outside tubing at night. And I'm enjoying it. Because I know that in about mm, 20 minutes, I'm gonna have a nice cup of hot cocoa in my hand. What do you think? Woo! <laughs> I'm going one more time. Awesome. That was fun. Well, we absolutely embraced the chill tonight outside tubing here at Gunstock. It was freezing, but it was also so much fun. Definitely going to come back and experience all their other activities that they have. We'd love for you to follow our itinerary because our day today was top notch. Again, you can come up and explore on your own. Either way, a must see. We'll see you next week. Yeah, you're hired. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's perfect. Uh, I always, so oh, now they're good. Sorry. Doing clowns for the blooper roll. Cause I'm so good, I don't have bloopers anymore. <sighs> okay, something about synonymous. Um, we had a lot of fun, so we recommend doing what we did today. That is not a good ending. <laughs> Two take, Kate.